a very good evening students today in our class we'll be doing condensed formula now the key points about the condensed formula are the single bonds between carbon and carbon as well as the single bonds between carbon and hydrogen are not to be shown if there are similar groups could be methyl could be chloro two chloros or two methyl groups attached to a particular carbon you can group them together and put them in brackets so if it is two methyls you will write a bracket ch3 hold twice and that's it if there are similar groups in a carbon chain means you have a five carbon chain then in the center of the carbon chain you would have ch2 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 terminals you would have the ch3 so these three ch2s can be grouped together again branched alkyl groups if you have a parent chain with the branches of methyl group or ethyl group or halogens then these are to be written to the right of the carbon to which they are attached and in brackets means if you have a methyl attached to a carbon the condensed formula would always be horizontal you will not have branches hanging out of it and these branches need to be mentioned in that horizontal state of formula where they are to be put in brackets i'll illustrate these key points with an example the first example that i am taking is that of 2,3 dimethyl heptane since is an ane means single bond hept means seven carbons methyl is ch3 dimethyl means two methyls and these two methyls are placed at the second and the third carbon of the heptane chain so the actual structural formula is 1 2 3 4 5 six seven carbons you have a methyl here and you have a methyl here rest of the hydrogens can be satisfied the structure is something like this now if i want the condensed formula of this very structure it would be something like ch3 and then i have a c the single bonds are not to be shown now this ch3 and this ch3 are on the same carbon so i can group it as twice and i put a ch for this h then i have another ch to this ch3 you have a ch3 group here which is to be written in the bracket to the right of the carbon to which is attached now you have a ch2 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 there are three ch2s in a row so these groups can be written together and now finally you have a ch3 this is how you write the condensed formula i'll be taking the second example now the second example is of an oct 4 ene oct means there are eight carbons ene means there's a double bond at the fourth position so the structure would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 i number it from the cent 1 2 3 and 4 in the fourth position you have a double bond satisfying the hydrogens ch3 ch2 ch2 again then you have a ch a ch here ch2 ch2 and a ch3 now to write the condensed formula of this structure you begin with a ch3 this done then you have two ch2s together they can be grouped together as ch2 hold twice next you have a ch the double bond is to be shown only the single bonds are not to be shown double bond needs to be shown this done this done you again have two ch2s in a row so you can group them together and finally you have a ch3 coming to the third example 2,2 dimethyl pentane in means single carbons five carbons because it's a pentane 1 2 3 4 and 5 2 2 dimethyl you have a methyl here and you have a methyl here satisfying the hydrogens a ch3 this has no hydrogen needed because the four bonds are done this has two hydrogens two bonds so two hydrogens one bond so three hydrogens this is your structural formula of the compound If I need the condensed formula, 
how do I go about it? Focus on this particular carbon. This particular carbon has three similar groups attached to it. So you can write these three as together. Done. Finally, you have two CH2s after this. The CH2s will be grouped together. And you would have a CH3. So, none of them is showing any single bonds between carbons or between carbon and hydrogen. That's done. The similar group is asked to a carbon atom to be grouped together in brackets. So, this particular carbon has three methyls which have been grouped together in a bracket. This particular carbon has two methyls to be grouped together in a bracket. Similar groups in a carbon chain can be grouped together. So, in a carbon chain, you have a CH2, a CH2, a CH2. That is why you have CH2 three times. In this particular chain, you have two CH2s together, one after the other. So, again, a CH2 twice. Here you again have a CH2, CH2, this side even, and even on this side. So, these two can be grouped together like this, and these two can be grouped together like this. This is the general way of writing down the condensed formula. Thank you. Please like the video if you like it. Thanks a ton.